Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the tour against the Overlords campaign. Uh, I just heard the good news that Tabcat finally managed to smash uh, the Black Side mission. That's good. Like it. Fabulous. Um, next question is what are we going to do? Can't infiltrate the Chosen stronghold. I would definitely like to uh, go and do this beautiful facility against uh, the alien uh, queen. But in order to do that, I would love to have a couple of mine shields in the proper front line. Let's just take a look. Um, we do have Hogbite soon ready, so that uh, tech team is good to go. Uh, Implacable and Exio 6 are ready ish. We got uh, a zapper here and our assault infantry is ready as well. So our typical team is uh, ready in 23 hours. Good, let's use the time. Let's use the time properly. Uh, what do we want to do? Ammo, alien alloys. I like the idea of ammunition. Do we have enough intel? No, we do not. There's always room for more intel. And we do not have set up tactical analysis yet. So what I am going to do is install a radio relay here because tactical analysis is too good to not do it or not take it. <clears throat> Fantastic. Superior agility. Got a promotion out of it. Our Reaper is now a Colonel. I love it. Um, reduction Avatar Project. That's good. Got another promotion here and the Soldier is Bond. That isn't bad either. Recruit Engineer. Uh, cost of resistance, holo planning, upgrade, reduce. That's a really bad upgrade. I think we're going to continue infiltrating the stronghold. And Ross, for being such a good uh, sports, can do exactly that. Together with Zoo Cougar. Yeah, they will be fine. They won't be ambushed. Okay, so viewing the soldiers, Hogbite is back soon. There we go. And we are on our way to an interesting mission. Sectored Prime, Mindbender, Archon, Gatekeeper, Face Drone, Elite Shield Bearer, Codex Prime. A lot of primes there. One would say it's prime time, eh? So, let's prepare for this mission and uh, typically how we're going to do that is I'll put together a team. Give me a sec. Good, there's our team. Not a lot of surprises at this point. I just want to level them up and get them really ready for the end game. Uh, Hogbite uh, is rocking his mind shield. That's good against uh, the queen, uh, to be honest. I'm wondering we got enough uh, freezing power with the hand grenade and also the freezing lash of our special suit here. So that's good. Um, by thinking about it, I'll do a bit of a, an, an unorthodox uh, measure here. I would like to remove that ammunition for a mine shield, please. Because uh, the Berserker stun is not to be trifled with, and mine shields completely block that stun. And I think we're maybe removing one more blue screen rounds for another mine shield. That's fine, we still got plenty of blue screen rounds to go. I always want to think about what the right uh, loadout is. 
and that should be selected based on whom you're fighting and having the ability to ignore uh, the AOE stomp of uh, the Berserker Queen is a big, big topic. Very good. We're landing, jumping down, getting some focus. And I think we got a double agent. Oh yeah, we got one, didn't we? Yeah, not exactly a double agent, but Kate is back. Kate Wright, Kate Spade, as they call her, uh, is joining us. Fantastic, I love it. Good. Out. We're going to slowly move up. Finding the first group of hostiles. Trojan moves up, Upright moves up, very melee oriented group. Uh, Kate Spade, Implacable, where is a good high ground position? Actually it is up there, but for the time being I think we're just double moving, that is automatically bracing us. Okay, let's take a good look at what the enemy wants to do. At the moment, uh, they just want to move around. Fair enough. Surprisingly, Position confirmed. a surprisingly difficult uh, setup with both of them. Sector Mindbender, Archon, and Elite Destroyer Commando. Prime Mindbender. All right. Well, we don't want to mess with them. Not yet. Move on. Okay, careful. Advancing. Part of me just wants to kill the enemies. Let's start. <laughs> oh, what a nasty shot. Good job. All right, free reload. Yeah, we're just going to hammer down the message. Um, you know, <clears throat> moving a tiny bit further forward without hopefully triggering anything. Ah, uh, the tree is in the way. Never mind. <clears throat> Could remove the trees, of course. Or just save uh, our grenades for a later portion. They moved all the way over there, so what I would want to do is not trigger anything but get a focus point. Always got to be careful with the Templar not to trigger at least not too much, right? That's the plan, but we don't see them there. 
bit suspicious. See, that is where our grenade could come in ultra handy if we land it correctly. Like that, for instance. There we go. Tower executed. Carefully moving back. Overwatch, 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 and we're good. Triggering the next pack. Uh, okay, that is new. I was not aware that anyone here could just shoot and kill. Not too shabby. Luckily we have a potent sniper in our ranks. Priest almost down, I like uh, to see that. Mm, I don't understand why that here is not going to see him. But, in case of doubt, let's just shift over actions. Kill that priest. Trojan moves to here so that we can be healed next turn. Overwatch. Reloading. We're going to reposition to here next turn, but for now, well, let's just overwatch. No one gets by me. And that was the right decision, because guess what? She had to, yes. Okay, so what we want to do is Frost Bomb. That way she's going to lose a couple of turns. She's now officially frozen. Let's give everybody line of sight. Completely shredded her, which is great. She still continues to be frozen. We're putting Overwatch onto Kate. Good, move to here.
could also um, play for advanced teamwork. So this will reduce one of the turns. But we do have, we theoretically do have parry in case we're being personally attacked. Free action does not trigger. She's now burning, which causes additional damage. Okay, before we're continuing. More Overwatch. I'll keep the Frostbite for the uh, Archon Prime. She can now start to move. Good. Moving up. Hit her. She's stunned, which is fantastic. I'm not going to use parry because it does, it technically counts as an extra ability that were uh, that were taken. Instead, we're going to hand over teamwork. We do that outside of her vision range, which means it doesn't trigger anything. Um, I could continue just going on and on uh, with her. Could hand over an action. We're outside of vision range again. Could hand over an action for a potential execute. She still continues to be stunned, I think, after that one. There's the Blade Storm, so she can act, apparently. But she got a turn. Which... I think we, we can actually kill her in one go. Uh, even if that costs me the next advanced teamwork, I'm willing to do that. Doesn't matter. Getting her down in one go... Uh, with a couple of tricks it's actually helpful because of that and bladestorm will definitely fi uh, finish her for good Very nice. That worked better than I expected, to be honest. Time for a sweet, sweet reload on all fronts. Okay. The alien, well, we missed the loot, but uh, we got better loot from the alien queen so I actually think we did well all things considered we did very well Moving to 
And I think there's Codex Prime and an Archon Prime and a Gatekeeper running around. So still a few more enemies to go, but nothing like terribly dangerous. Berserker Queen already found her dem uh, demise. <clears throat> racing and we are precisioning shotting this guy down 23 points of damage plus uh, five armor that's been penetrated i would call that a success Okay, Kate is sort of moving up there as well. Slow playing this a little bit because of cooldowns and mainly because there's no reason to rush it. I think getting a good glimpse of what's in here would be helpful. Yeah, that's the money pack right there, the big boss pack. Okay, moving up. Frontline does frontline things. Kate actually helps a bit in the frontline she is. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, unfortunately expendable. Is there anyone else moving in? At the moment the answer seems to be no. I've kind of seen them through the wall. On the move. Okay, so we're up there. Hawkbite moves, red line and Kate Spade are moving a bit closer. I think we should have a bit more firepower at the front line. Okay, if we know they are still standing there. And the main question is, will we or how do we pull them? <clears throat> All right, moving up. Let's carefully move over here and rebrace the weapon. Do we want to go <coughs> via the rooftop or are we just bombarding them? Good question. I think we're going via the rooftop. XQ6 would have a better shooting position or shooting angle over here. Yeah, well, 
it was bound to happen at some point, right? Now I want to save that uh, grenade. Good, let's get the specter. Specter down. there and then we're going to see what else is down there oh I see I see how it is we could even explode that but you know the easier way is freeze because now there are no ruler reactions and instead Yeah, we're, I'm not going to charge through all of this here. Instead, we're just calmly waiting. Enough cooldowns have been used on that pack. And of course, XCOM inherently knows now is a good time to finally move. They haven't moved in a while. But it wouldn't be XCOM if they wouldn't be able to move, would it? <laughs> and we're right back into the mix. Lovely. Good, let's start here. Good chance of killing it. Hair trigger. Ju just in brackets, breaching maneuver, which is fine. So one of them is gone. Thankfully, we have a good position up here. Shredding the big guy. Ooh, nice, good damage. Down to 12 hit points. You know what would suck if we were to just open that entire area and bombard you. Oops. Did I say that out loud? That's a good old two for one. Might as well go up there in a second. One more advanced teamwork, just for good measure. And XQ6 has just completely eliminated that guy. Flying over. Here's a Mimic Beacon.
Hawkbite wants the blade storm attack. We're moving, partially moving up, partially we're just overwatching. Well, it has been fun. Bit of a messy ending. Oh, okay. Well, XQ6, I think, has deserved this kill. Putting the evac zone down there. Copy that. that and that. Kate Spade has survived. I am impressed and equally no intrigued about that. End of turn. Planting the C4 against an imaginary wall straight up levitating in the air evacing everyone and xq6 also evacs just for good measure don't want to leave anyone behind look guys it has been fun pretty much destroyed the entire place got a berserker queen is a bonus reward on top of it so we have something to research and it was an overall good mission reduce the avatar project by three stop uh, the building of new facilities for six weeks and we got ourselves another nice shiny suit of armor Did we get a promotion? Yay! So, corrosive grenades, incendiary grenades or gas grenades, none of which we're really using that intensely, so we can just use gas grenades, I suppose. Extra blast padding wouldn't be bad more uh, grenade uh, radius would definitely be appreciated yeah let's go for the broader grenade radius now that we have recovered one of dr valen's test subjects i can begin an autopsy on the specimen as soon as you give the order commander the destruction of this facility marks an important step towards the total well, we have 12 cores, experimental powered weapon, at least twice. A war suit would be good. Yes, please. Uh, advanced explosives. Uh, yes, please. Don't have that. Okay, is there any upgrade here? Good, just actually going through and making sure that we're that we're having our upgrades properly bu uh, built. Yeah, we've been doing very well with uh, with our with our supplies. Good. 
I like what I'm seeing. Let's continue building the radio relay. <coughs> Because with technical analysis, this is going to sway even further in our favor. And before we can uh, mm, reap the benefits of our victory, Tepcat is being called back into action as we either get a heavying fog. This is definitely going to be together with uh, the Chosen. 10 are way too low. Then... Yeah, well, that's a kernel right here. And a great uh, counter. <clears throat> well, all three of them are fun in their own way. I will leave it to Tapcat to make the decision what he wants to work with. And we are going to see each other in two missions. Enjoy the time with Tapcat and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.